Didier Drogba's life is one of the most extraordinary stories I've ever heard. From being a poor kid from the Ivory Coast to leaving his family at five years old, to then having to go back to the African continent but leaving again just a bit later. His childhood was a roller coaster, and when becoming a teenager, he would get involved with criminals and he almost ended up in jail. By the age of 23, Drogba realized that his football career wasn't going anywhere, and he wanted to quit and start studying university. Yeah, that's right, one of the best strikers in history almost gave up on football. Drogba's story is truly remarkable, and to understand it we must go back to when he was five years old living in the Ivory Coast. During this time, he was living with his family, and they were quite poor. Drogba had an uncle though that played football professionally in France. Drogba really liked his uncle and he loved to play with his wife. Once, when his uncle was visiting them, he and Drogba's mother decided that Didier would get a better life if he lived with them in France. And then it happened, at five years old he flew to France alone and then started living with his uncle. Now when he was living in France, he started playing football with different youth teams and grew to love the sport. Drogba played football up until he was 14 but then stopped playing to catch up with his studies. He didn't play for over one year until he started playing the sport again and was now behind everyone else at his age. He continued playing football and he got a bit better, but he still wasn't a big talent and at 18 years old he started playing semi-professional football. When he was 20 he joined the professional league 2 club, Le Mans, but at the time he wasn't even on the bench for games. He would though work his way up the ranks and when he was 22 years old, he started regularly starting games. Even though he got to play Drogba did not score many goals and when he was 23, he thought that he didn't have any future with professional football and wanted to quit so he could go to university. For some reason, he decided that he would give football one more year and it was during this year he got his breakthrough. Drogba scored 5 goals in 11 games at the end of the 2001 season and really impressed. The League One club Gwengamp took interest in Drogba after his impressive season and at 24 years old he got signed to a professional team at the highest level in France. In his first 11 games Drogba would go on and score 3 goals and the club just about managed to avoid relegation. His second season in the French top flight would change the Ivorian's life when he scored 17 goals in 34 games and managed to land himself a contract with Marseille. Drogba became a superstar at Marseille and in a short one-year period with the club he would score 19 goals in the league, 5 in the Champions League and 6 in the UEFA Cup. Drogba won the Player of the Year award in France and his performances opened the eyes of some of the biggest clubs in the world. In the end it was Chelsea that signed Drogba and for a record-setting fee of £24 million. Drogba had gone from almost quitting football to becoming one of the most sought-after strikers in the world in about a two-year period. We all know how good Drogba was at Chelsea, and he literally won everything. Drogba won four Premier League titles, four FA Cups, three League Cups, and a Champions League. On top of this, he was named Chelsea's Player of the Year multiple times and won two Premier League Golden Boot Awards. He was arguably the best striker in the world during his peak and the fans loved him. Looking back at it now, it's crazy that someone that almost became a criminal and who didn't play professional football until he was 24 years old and almost quit the sport would go on and become one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, Didier's story is amazing and if you want to learn about even more footballers' backstories and careers, then please subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video. If you know some other footballer with a crazy story, please tell it in the comments.